everyone, welcome back to Art a la carte. Today's video is a draw that again video. This past week I was helping a friend pack up some of her boxes and I came across a couple of paintings that she had that were mine and it was just fun to see them again. I hadn't seen them in quite a few years and one of them is actually my really first commission and so she commissioned the Clockwork Owl piece which I'll put a picture right up here for you. Um, so it was fun to see the original because um, all I see now are prints. So and then as I was packing up some other boxes I came across these and I totally I mean I totally remembered this picture but I totally forgotten who purchased it. So I was so excited to see because I really really like this piece. So I went ahead and took a picture of it with my phone. So this piece originally was painted in 2003 so it's been goodness over 10 years since I've seen this piece. A lot of my original pieces from that long ago I don't have like a hard digital copy of them I just have memories. So I was excited to be able to take a photograph on my phone just so I could have a record of it and as I was thinking about it I thought it, everything just worked together perfectly. It was such I mean the horse I really felt that I drew the horse really well and I was really happy with it and looking at it now I'm still really really happy with it. So I thought this would be a fun piece to try to redraw. There are pieces that I see that I like the idea but the actual piece that I finished I don't like so it's fun to redraw because I know I can do better. But with this one I didn't know exactly how I would do it differently so it would be fun to see how I've improved over the last 10 plus years in drawing horses. Now the interesting thing is you know, back in 2003, I was really into drawing horses a lot. I was studying them a lot. I was really practicing them a lot because that was my comfort thing. I was drawing them all the time. And then shortly after that, I really began to push myself in my art in other areas. So I really haven't done a serious focused study on drawing horses since then. Not that I don't draw them. I do a lot of horse drawing tutorial videos here on the YouTube channel, but I've talked about doing like focus studies in previous videos where I just study the that thing and I just draw it a ton of times, you know, fill up a sketchbook with that topic. I haven't done that in the early 2000s. And on the other side as well, I haven't done a lot of watercolor in the last three or four years. I've been using a lot of alcohol-based markers for the last two or three years and before that was really into colored pencils and digital art. So my watercolor hasn't been really been, I haven't really been pushing my skills in watercolor either. So I feel this is a good test to see um, creatively how I would redraw the picture while still keeping the essence of what this piece was meant to be. I didn't want to change a lot of things in the original setup of this drawing. I wanted to keep, you know, pretty much the same color scheme. I wanted to keep up the same kind of composition. There were a few small things that I allowed myself to change, um, but ultimately I wanted to be able to look at both these pictures and say, yeah, this is, this is a painting of the same thing. So the actual positioning of the horse I left as closely as I could. I did reposition the back legs a little bit more but I tried to keep the front legs and like the the positioning of how kind of the the front end is much lower than the back end and I wanted to keep this really nice long flowing mane though I did decide instead of having it more of a st straight wavy kind of mane to really give it a fun texture and just kind of go wild with the with the curls and the tendrils and I wasn't sure exactly how that would turn out. I thought it'd be fun to kind of test it and see if I could create similar, if I could create that in watercolor. I know I could do that in other mediums, but I didn't know if I could do it in watercolor. And I think it turned out nice. I also decided to make the wings of the horse a little bit bigger. Um, the original piece, the wings are very small and obviously there's no way the horse could fly with that small of wings. I still don't think that physically, that realistically a horse with that that size of wings even in this piece could fly but I thought it balanced it off a little bit better and I wanted to make the wings look a little bit more realistic so I, I put a little bit more time into the actual painting of the feathers. You can also see that I added the secondary wing so it kind of gives it a little bit more dimension to it. And then the circle background I shrunk a little bit more. I didn't have it as wide. I wanted more of the horse to be outside of the circle. And then I wanted to kind of bring that element out. So the horse is still flying over her little pond, but I went ahead and made it look like her mane and tail were kind of floating in the water and that 
it was kind of flowing out of that circle frame. So it kind of brings out her world into our world. I did try to keep to the same color scheme. Didn't have quite the same paint color, so I didn't have that really cool kind of aqua blue. I had to kind of mix my own, and I added a little bit more purple in there. I think it's a little bit lighter, and obviously the biggest difference is, is I did not ink this piece in. I wanted to do it without the thick black line around it, so it gives it a little bit softer of an appearance. I love this piece. I still love the original, but it was fun to take a piece that I was really proud of 13 years ago and try to recreate and reimagine it and just to see where I've improved and how I would redo that piece. And, and it was a fun experiment. I really enjoyed it. I encourage you guys, if you have pieces from the past that you really liked, to try to recreate them and to see how you have improved. If you have recreated pieces from your art past, make sure to tag me in those photos in Instagram or on my Facebook page. I'd love to see them. I think it's really fun, especially if you get the side-by-side -side pictures so people can see. If you're brand new to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and check out some of these videos for other art la carte fun. So until next time, God bless you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.